Hi, this is Nicholas Bell with Ion Cinema here to review Straight Up, which is releasing March 6, 2020, courtesy of Strand Releasing. Uh, it's the directorial debut of James Sweeney, who also wrote and stars in the film. It premiered at the 2019 Frameline Film Festival and also uh, uh, played an Outfest in Los Angeles. Uh, so this is a, a film that's being marketed as a odd couple romance. It's about a, for all intents and purposes, uh, gay young man, Todd, played by Sweeney, who, uh, having had trouble finding love with another man, decides that maybe he needs to explore his heterosexual yearnings, much to the displeasure of his friend group. Uh, he has a meet-cute with Rory, played by Katie Findlay, uh, at a library, and the two embark on a platonic, sexless, but loving, romantic relationship. Um, and, and as that goes along, they both figure out that more that is needed than just uh, a lot of uh, talking about passionate subjects. Uh, so the film is very much inspired by uh, the Gilmore Girls, uh, based on Sweeney's uh, rapid-fire staccato dialogue that is uh, unceasing throughout. Um, which gives the film a kind of uh, overly rehearsed feel. Uh, there, there are a lot of very comedic, even poignant moments, but not all of that seems to land correctly. And it does feel like a film that stays um, too much on the high and doesn't give us time to ruminate on the low, especially uh, concerning uh, Rory's character really uh, her emotional arc really uh, comes out in the film and requires a bit more understanding about why she's making the choices she's making, for instance. Um, the film has a feel like um, some 1970s American cinema, and I kept w wanting to. I kept imagining something like this being made with Liza Minnelli um, and all the uh, juicy meta textual things you could read into someone like her playing a, a woman falling in love with a gay man uh, and deciding that that's okay. Uh, but uh, it, it also had. It seemed like it could have gone as far as having even a. Uh, similarity to something like Harold and Maude, but it doesn't quite always get there. That said, it's extremely impressive for a directorial debut, and uh, the, it, the amount of dialogue that the two leads have to get through is uh, quite impressive. Supporting cast is uh, fine, too. Uh, Tracy Toms is a nice, uh, slow-down, bright spot as his therapist. Um, but it, it does feel a, a bit grating, especially with the editing, which is a lot of uh, shot reverse shots and a lot of like frenetic pans as we're trying to keep up with the dialogue uh, that, that, that's meant to kind of um, highlight its uh, comedic elements uh, when I, I really wanted to, to see something a bit more, uh, a bit darker. Uh, it does do a good job of balancing uh, cynicism as regards the Los Angeles film industry, which I, I thought was interesting as well. Uh, overall, I would give the film two and a half out of five stars. Thank you. Hey, this is Eric from MyOwnCinema.com. If you want to support us, subscribe below. For more reviews, interviews, film festival coverage from Sundance, Cannes, Toronto, you want to check out these guys on this side.